All right, so here we go. A couple people asked me about um, what gear I took on this Yellowstone trip. Um, start with, I guess, the backpack. This backpack is a custom backpack that I made myself. It's made out of um, X-Pack material, VX42 on the back and bottom, VX07 on the front and the sides. Uh, start here. This is my Garmin e GPS. Um, used it once. It was really just a backup plan in case it rained. This right here is my Manfrotto tripod. This right here, my Garmin inReach Mini. Uh, I was using it to um, let my peoples know I was okay. Trekking poles, I didn't use them a whole lot. These are two bottles that I use, and these two bottles that I carry water in for the most part. Um, there wasn't too many stretches where we weren't near water. I also had my Be Free water filter. I had it in my pants pocket. It's not gonna be in this video. I uh, had my knife. Used it one time to make uh, a tent stake. Over here, got my tent poles, my tent stakes, my tent footprint. My tent was the Big Agnes um, Copper Spur HVUL one person tent. Now for the big old pocket, got my rain jacket. So, uh, what is this? Oh, it's a Sierra Designs rain jacket. This is my pack cover. <laughs> First aid kit. Main thing that I wanted to make sure that I had in it was it tourniquet. Um, I also had some water purification tablets just in case my filter died on me. Trying to hurry up, trying to hurry up. Wipes. This is a little fanny pack. I use it to carry the batteries for my camera. I carry five batteries and an extra SD card. I could have gotten away with two batteries and just one SD card. Um, more of the poop kit, the trowel, and my hand sanitizer. I did not end up using this because every site that we stayed at had a pit toilet. So, then I see on the outside. Now we go to the inside. Uh, my fleece. Uh, I wore this at night. <laughs> Most nights, I think it was in the low 30s. Um, I think one night it dipped into the 20s for a little bit and I, I, I slept with this on for a little while. Uh, my quilt did great though. Food bag, hang my food in there. On the first night of backpacking at our first campsite, a bear tried to take my food, but I did the PCT hang method. Um, and you can see where it had pulled on the string and tried to pull it down. Um, but I wasn't able to get my food. Air pump to pump up my um, uh, sleeping pad. Because after a long day of hiking, I don't want to blow it up. Got a nylon bag, and here's the rest of my tent. This bag is a um, clothing bag. Extra shirt in here, and extra pair of socks. I did end up tying this in a knot and sticking it in the bottom of my quilt. You know, a lot of quilts, they have the slight opening at the bottom when you draw the strings. Um, so I stuffed this in the hole and worked out perfectly. What else? Balloon hat, I, I, I did not wear it. Yeah, I did, I wore it one time. Ugh. Right here, this is my sleeping pad. This is a Korea Outdoor sleeping pad. I used a three quarter sleeping pad. Um, and then I put my backpack under my feet and that worked out great for me. Um, my pillow. Foam chunks on the inside. I need a thicker pillow because I, I have big shoulders and I like to side sleep. Sometimes I'll take my fleece and put it under this just to make it a little bit higher. Um, this is my quilt. It's not a Cedar Summit quilt. This is just a Cedar Summit waterproof bag. I went extra on the waterproof for my, my quilt because if it rained, for some reason, this didn't hold up. And this 
waterproof fabric didn't hold up. I'm gonna an extra layer because this is this is supposed to keep me warm at night. I'm gonna take any chances. Man, and I tell you what, this thing is amazing. So shout out to Phil. The quilt did great and still performed. And this thing kept me warm. Um, like I said, I think the temperature dipped into the 20s a few times, or maybe once, and it did great. Um, all right, told you about the bag. This is a foam piece that I um, cut to fit along my back. This is a frameless backpack, and it, you just stuff it full of things. Um, if you don't pack it right, sometimes things are pressing up against your back. So I just added this. Added this as a extra layer of um, protection for my back and I also use it as a sit pad to sit on walls and whatnot. Uh, anyway, that's it. Showed you the gear. That's all I took the whole trip. That's it. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Bye.